like beer, and beer likes me. Meet me downtown at the local brewery. You should catch up. We started drinking at three. And I would finish this hook, but I really gotta pee. Cause we like Welcome again to Beer of the Week right here on Beer Bro TV. Right where you're watching or you're on YouTube or somewhere else. But if not, go to Beer Bro TV because that's where everything goes down. I am your host, Patrick. This is my buddy slash co-host, Jeff. Wax and Jeff, Waxall. I'm so excited for you to taste this beer. This is a beer that was given to me by one of my friends that travels up to Vermont for Christmas and brought it back from a brewery in Vermont called The Alchemist. I haven't heard of it until yeah. today. So and I tried it for it. the first time last year, and it was insanely good, insanely drinkable. And uh, I looked up some information so we could provide it for you guys, and I couldn't find anything. So I'm just going to read what's on the back of the can. This beer is called Hetty Topper, and this is one of their flagship beers. And on the back of the can it says, Hetty Topper is an American double IPA. Uh, this beer is not intended to be the biggest or most bitter, it is meant to give you wave after wave of hoppy goodness on your palate. Tremendous amounts of American hops will creep you, creep up on you and leave you with a dense hoppy finish in your mouth. So drinkable, it's scary. Sounds awesome. So this it's a, is 8% alcohol by volume, ABV. Uh, they, everybody says I apologize to the Alchemist Brewing Company in Vermont. Uh, in Waterbury, Vermont. I was about to mention that. It, it says right on the can, it says yes. drink from the can. But you know what? We're, we're going to Yeah, but we have to it. share. And me and Jeff Plus, know we, each other we want to show you the color of this thing, man. This is... Yeah. It, this, lo it, lo it, lo it looks like a masterpiece here, so we say we uh, try it. Yeah, like words can't make it. So, cheers it up. Hey, toppers. Dude. You, you, from the smell, you get you know a little citrusy, but you can still smell the hops. It does have a citrus like vibe to it. You also, um, I, I got a little bit of hop. I mean, a little bit of citrus on the front end, and then definitely you get that hoppy flavor. This is a good beer. Yeah, like this is this is one of my favorites. My favorite double double IPAs. Uh, yeah, it's lives up to the hype. Uh, we have other cans that we're gonna drink it out of, but for now, we have it right here. So if you can find it anywhere, I, like I said, I have somebody bring it to me from uh, Vermont. But yeah, if you can find it anywhere or if you can order it online, uh, we'll look it up and put some something at the end it could of the be on. It could be on like Inside the Cellar or it could be somewhere Possibly. like, so, like, like Beer Exchange or something like, or something like that. So, check, those check those places out. But yeah, first class beer. First class beer. Cheers. Cheers. Let's drink this up. I'll give you the random fact this time. All right. So in my research, I found out that the Alchemist was a brewery and pub, or I don't know if it's yeah, I think brewery and pub or brewery and restaurant. And uh, in when Tropical Storm Irene hit the Vermont area, it flooded the entire thing. So while they were waiting to rebuild and remodel uh, the pub, they bought a canning line, and they decided they were going to can hoppy by chance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, can this beer. And that's when they everyone like the whole rumor mill and the it got the aura of it's better and it's the best in a can, and it became one of the most one of their best sellers, and that's why they say it's the best in a can. Dude, check it out. Random fact, fun fact, fun fact. <laughs>